Next question. I'm gonna get it right. What is my favorite cake? And this question is way too easy. Well, it's not that easy because you're fat and you like eating all kinds of cake. If if a cake is cake, then you love it. There's no such thing as a cake that you don't like. You'll eat That's that That's why shit. it's too fucking easy. But, specifically speaking, you like ice cream cake. That's why you always get it for my birthday when I specifically said I don't I like do it. like ice cream cake. That's your favorite cake. Every year for your freaking birthday, you ask for fucking stupid ice cream cake. And every year I have to hide it from you, so I have to like... Strategically place it everywhere. I can't leave it in the car for too long. I can't leave it at home because you're gonna see it Like I always have to just find a way to make it work so that you can get your stupid ice cream cake and be all surprised Well, that was you know too easy. Coming. What's my favorite pie then? Your favorite pie? Mm -hmm. Oh, damn um, I don't think I know that You're a bad girlfriend <laughs> Bad. Is, it, is it apple pie? You're really bad girlfriend. <laughs> what is it? Because it depends where we go. There's so many different styles. So there's a traditional one that you like? I like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just beat me. What the hell? No That's shit. That's negative points. That's trickery. That's negative points. Did your mom teach you to trick people? Fine, what's, what's my favorite? My all, You know this. What's my favorite <laughs> all-time favorite dessert? Your all-time favorite my dessert? My favorite all-time favorite dessert. Do you consider this a dessert though? What do you mean? Root beer floats? Damn it! <laughs> you do know it! Fine. I don't like, is that a beverage or is it a dessert? I don't know, but I like that shit a lot. I know you. <laughs> How do you know I like it? Because I'm your stupid girlfriend, you stupid boyfriend. Fine. I can't believe I call myself stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. Well, guess what? You're So far, I think you got like a D so far. Stupid, I should get two points. You keep asking me like seven questions. No, because the one other ones, question. you might get all of them wrong. So don't try to jump the gun. You're only at a D right now. You're just a regular Mexican report card right now, okay? <laughs> You're such a fucking hater. Give me a fucking... <laughs> Give me two. Next question. Which is too fucking easy. No. Yeah, it's too easy again. Not these questions are so fucking easy. What shoe size do I wear? Ten. Duh. And you're a perfect ten. You're not too big. It's not too small. It's like a perfect ten. And which brands? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. It's just a ten. What are you talking about? What do I what do I wear? What do I wear? Nike. <laughs> what do I wear? Nike. I don't know. That's so specific. If I'm gonna buy you shoes, I know to buy you a size ten. Well, what if, if it's you want me to buy you fucking underwear? I know to get you a size medium. If you want me to buy you fucking pants, I know that you're a size fucking what is it? Thirty two. Or are you smaller now? Thirty two. Ooh, you didn't know that about me. Ooh. Well, you were thirty four. Are you thirty two now? I wish I could fit into thirty two. Hell no. So you're still thirty four? Yes. No, you thought, you thought, you thought I was gonna get 32. Fine, what, what size shirt do I wear? Large, well it depends on what it is. It could be extra large or large. Let's shit your face. Eh, eh. What size hats do you wear? Fucking extra, extra, <laughs> extra, extra large. No one asked that question, that's negative points. Cause you have a big ass dome. No I don't. Dome, da dome, dome. You're dumb. <laughs> Come on, give me a point. Alright, fine. You got lucky on that one. Alright, let's see if we know this one. This may be the deal breaker. I know, probably. This just might be the deal breaker because you might not know the question to this. I mean, you have the answer? <laughs> yes, the answer. <laughs> what obsessions do I have, if any? Obsessions? Yep. I don't know if you would consider this an obsession. I don't know, it already sounds like it's going down the wrong path. <laughs> <laughs> but once you like something, it doesn't matter if you can afford it or not. Once you like it, you start doing crazy amounts of research on it. So if you're like, like you could be busy as fuck, right? But because your mind, like it's so, so like in the forefront of your mind, like you'll do the busy stuff and then take five minute breaks to do research on it. So let's say you're like looking for a really, for like a, like you, you were obsessed with Rolexes for a minute. So you would be like writing scripts or doing like, you know, contracts or whatever you, were, whatever the fuck you spend your time doing here, but I don't know what you do. Um, I do a lot of work And then okay. five minutes into it, you'll like pause and then you'll start watching YouTube videos on like how they make Rolex. And then you'll go on Wikipedia and then figure out how they put Rolex together. And then you'll go to like Rolex's site and see who built their site and then what their motto is and who their CEO is. And then you'll say like, oh, who, what school did the CEO go to? And then you like do all this crazy research. So you're like this, this, this info junkie. And I think that's an obsession. Once you find a hobby, you have to like know everything about it. That just means that I'm obsessed. That doesn't mean it's my obsession. Oh, well, I don't know. What is your obsession then? I don't know. Name another one. I mean, it's a right or wrong. I already gave you an answer. You're giving me a chance. I don't really think you have obsessions, to be honest. What about, okay, what was my obsession as a kid? Obsession as a kid? Yeah. 
Fair enough. Oh my god! <laughs> cute. This is the real as a kid. Yeah. As a kid, you would get the you would get a sweater. <laughs> And you know how the sweaters have the inner lining and it's kind of a little bit fuzzy? So he would pick at it so much <laughs> that he would take off all the fuzzy stuff and then he would create like a little ball. And he would just like pick at it so much throughout the whole day. He would just be picking and picking and picking and picking. And then I'll put it to my nose. And then he would go like this and smell it. Alright, fine, you know it then. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You think I should give her that point? Of course! <sighs> fine. Alright, you got lucky. They ruled in your favor. <laughs> the next question. Why are you reading, you little cheater? You fucking cheater ass bitch. <laughs> Alright. What was the first move I made on you? I don't know if you would. Well, in my video, you said that the first move is defined as something that you would never do with your homies. Right. A move that you would never bust on your homies. Right, 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 right. So, right, right. we had just finished, uh, we, we just came down from the mountain because we went snowboarding that day. We went and we bought in and out And he, at that time, his truck was stick shift. So, we ordered to go. We were going to eat back at my place where I had a bunch of roommates and there was going to be a bunch of people. So, we weren't going to be all boning or anything. You pervy pervs. So, we're driving back to my place and um, he's he, he's doing his little stick shift thing and I have a thing that every time I get fries I have to eat it right away because I'm always scared that it's gonna get cold and it's not gonna taste the same so I always want to taste at least a handful of fries that are fresh that's like, true straight out of the oil fresh and you just want to put a couple in your mouth right so as I'm eating it I was like hey do you want some and he's like yeah so he does this little stick shift thing right and I was like trying to hand it to him and I put it here and then he did this thing to like eat it out of my hand and I was like, oh shit. And then he had it out of my hand and I'm like, I got this fool in the back. He's all mine. I got that. I'm hitting that. No, I'm not going to hit it, but you know what I mean. So that you're telling me, so you're trying to reveal to the public that you had feelings since back then? No, not that I had feelings then, since then back what, then. Then what are you saying? You got in the bag and it was all mine. What was all that mean? No, no, no. I was just trying to gloat about something. I was just trying to look like a pimp, but I'm not a pimp. That's... Yeah, thanks for blowing that cover. So what is it? I, I mean, I, I, I felt different about you at that moment, but... At that moment or before that moment? And when I took it out of your hand, then uh, were you like, ooh, or was yeah. it after, or was it the moment? That was the that was the moment that set every, like, that put all the freaking pieces together, and it was like, oh shit, you like him, and I was like, oh fuck, I like him. Really? Yeah. So before it was just like, oh, we're just friends, yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, out of your hand, and you're like, oh, damn, what the Yeah, I was like, oh shit. Oh man, I didn't think he was cool. Um, like this whole time, I thought he was really cool. But what I think I was feeling this whole time was liking feelings for him. Yeah, at that time. So it really wasn't like a ballsy move. It was just like something that a homie of mine had never did. Like here, feed me. I was like, you know, I did weird. that though. I just want to test the waters a little bit. See what happens. And well, were you happily surprised? Yeah. Cool. Because if you would have been like, if I went like this, and you went away, oh, you're driving here. I'll just put it here. Then I'd have like, oh fuck, for sure, for sure. Oh, I should have done that. For sure, I would have been friend zone. I'd be like, fuck, for sure, I got friend zone. But then I, when I took it and I looked at you, I was like, mm, <laughs> there's a possibility here. And you had braces too, looking like a dweeb. There's a possibility. Fine. Fine, you get that point. Ah, does that look like it's nine out of nine, huh? Nine out of nine. Nine out of nine. You have one last one to prove. If you're the shittiest girlfriend in the world or not. <laughs> I'm fine. And the last question is, which is kind of unfair because we talked about this in your video already, but what do we argue about the most? Well, in my video, you were saying how it's kind of an objective question because it's going to be my point of view versus your point of subjective, view. Subjective, you mean? I'm, I'm sorry, subjective, yes, you're right. I'm an idiot. <clears throat> so it's very subjective because it's what you think versus what I think. And in my video, I was saying that I thought that we argue about cleanliness. And you were saying, no, we actually argue about being CUNY. And what CUNY is, is the very bail talk of just being cute, being very soft, being very sensitive when you speak to each other. It's like, you're never gonna talk to your, your bear or your CUNY partner in a way where it's like, hey, so what, are you hungry? It's gonna be like, Hey, Pop Bear, is your tummy empty right now? And then that's kind of how the CUNY goes down. Or even if we're even if we're pissed at each other, then you can't be pissed. You can't be like, dude, don't even look at me. I hate you right now. You have to be like, Pop Bear, <laughs> that really hurt my feelings. I don't feel like talking right now. But then you're still very cute. So that's 
kind of where we went back and forth with I thought one thing, he thought the other. So therefore, it was kind of like a little tie and we both got that point. I don't know if I should give it to you because you already heard my answer from the other video. Fine, do you want to ask me a bonus question then? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay, ask me. Is there another question on the list somewhere? I, uh, I would have to look. Just think one up. You think I don't know, or you think I don't know about you? <laughs> I would never do this to you. That's what I mean, I would just give you the point. I gave you the point. What point did you give me? That one, the last, the same question. Right. So shady McShades, dude. Fine, I'll give you the point. You get the point. You see, now we're just arguing about you CUNY because we're not being you CUNY. Talk, you talked you talk me into it, and I'm so fucking CUNY, I just give it to you. <laughs> Fine. Fine, so my girlfriend got 10 out of 10. That means she's the first Mexican in history to get 100%. <laughs> Such a hater, dude. Did great. Of course I did great. That means she loves me, and that means I love her more. <laughs> <laughs> How does that even make sense? It does make sense. So, if you like more videos like this, like these tags, let us know in the comments below. I like more tags. And to see how I did in Gio's video, make sure you go and click her video right here. And she's just a little hater because I probably smoked it. Whatever. Actually, I know I did because I already did the video. I did smoke it. And all the ladies out there. Please. He's a fucking headache. Please take him away. Bye. It's nighttime. I was like, you know what, there's no cops around. Who the fuck is gonna waste your time stopping for a stop sign? For real, you gotta YOLO that shit at night. Especially